Hi, Junior with today's thoughts. Still coming to you from New York. If you've been following my vlog this week, I've been in New York since Monday the 19th, and I fly back tomorrow, Monday the 22nd. So I'm recording this on Sunday because I may not have time while I'm on the plane. You might not even see this till Tuesday. But let's get right to it. Based on a comment that I got, people, I had a suggestion to try to summarize what I'm going to talk about at, at the start. You can decide whether you want to listen uh, farther. So today we're, I'll uh, be talking about the case coming up in the Supreme Court this week. They'll be hearing the case, Donald Trump's uh, claim of immunity from prosecution for anything that he, well, not just him, but any, anything that a president does well in office. So unless that president is in impeached and convicted by the Senate of whatever um, he would be charged with uh, in a criminal court. Because when your impeachment is just removal from office or you, all you can you just be removed from office, you're still, then you can be prosecuted in the regular courts for any crime that you did. So his, uh, his opponents, are, well, this is the, the crazy example that they gave the opponents is, uh, of the other side, which is that, well, suppose a president on the very last day of his uh, term orders SEAL Team 6 to go out and assassinate all of his political enemies. The, the point being that, well, then it'd be too late. It's his last day, too late to impeach him and remove, remove him from office. So he, he's immune for uh, from uh, being charged with any crime, being prosecuted for sending SEAL Team 6 to go out and assassinate all of his political enemies. So the, re the ridiculousness of that argument that gives you some idea of what the, uh, of, uh, the whole basis of this whole case. But the, the, all the, the opinion that I've heard so far is that he would have a limited immunity but not total immunity and that the Supreme Court would have to draw a line somewhere. Now, one of the problems that Donald Trump has, I would say even his biggest problem, is that I'm not in his, on his legal team even though I'm not a lawyer because I have an argument that I don't think that, uh, that from what I've heard, they're not going to make this argument and it, it's an obvious one to me, which would be why Trump is right. And the reason is the following. It's because the idea, well, the, the idea of this crazy case that I just brought up with you is that once he leaves office, he can't be impeached. Well, I would say he can be impeached, and he can be tried in the Senate, and you'd say, well, he can't be removed from office because he's already out of office. But... The Constitution does two things. He can be removed from office, but he can't run for future office. He can't be, well, not just the presidency, any federal office. So it's possible that, number one, that upon leaving, after leaving office, that, say, if it's Donald Trump, that's who they mean. If Donald Trump were to seal Team 6 to kill all his uh, political enemies, that he may run for, he may want to serve in the Senate or some other uh, officer, you know, officer of the United States, and that he would be able to. So the if he's impeached, then he can't. So the point is that there's still a reason to impeach him, even if he leaves office. So the the impeachment alternative uh, would still be there to impeach him, to prevent him from uh, serving in any office. And once he's, if he's uh, impeached and convicted in the Senate, then he could be charged with a crime. But absent that, he couldn't. But now let's take the presidency itself. So the argument right now would be, this is where I, I think I have an original thought that these lawyers may not have thought of, which is that, well, they would say, okay, if it was his first term, you could prevent him from running for a second term. But after a second term under the, the Constitution now, because we amended the Constitution, he cannot run for, I believe it's a 25th Amendment, but he 
cannot run for a third term because of the Constitution. So it wouldn't make any sense to impeach him because he can't run again anyways for the presidency. Never mind what I said about these lower offices. But the, what they're missing is there was a time when you could not take a, a drink in this country, alcohol. Prohibition I'm talking about. That was under the, um, the 18th Amendment that was passed shortly after World War One, and it made the consumption of alcoholic beverages ill, just unlawful in the United States. Now, the point I'm getting at is in 1933, the 21st Amendment was enacted, and the 21st Amendment repealed the 18th Amendment, which is why now I, I had a, a beer the other day, which I enjoyed very much, and now I can legally do it. And we could all do it ever since uh, 1933. The point I'm making is that amendments can be repealed. So it's, it, the possibility is small, but it's not it's not zero. Now, up to the time, up to the passage of the 21st Amendment, no amendment, to my knowledge, had ever been repealed. But the 21st century, uh, 21st century, 21st Amendment set that precedent, precedent, and then the 18th Amendment was repealed. So it's not beyond the realm of possibility that the um, the 25th Amendment, I, the amendment that limits a president uh, to two terms, that could be repealed. And if that's repealed, then there is the possibility that a president who committed a crime could run for a third time. And let's say if you're talking about um, someone like a, a John F. Kennedy, well, you have to be... Uh, 35 years old to be the president of the United States. That's the, the minimum age. So let's say you have a 35-year-old president who leaves office, um, say it serves two terms, right? 35. So he's 43 when he leaves the office. So that gives him 20, 30, 40 years in which the, the amendment could be repealed. And it's, uh, so you see, so that argument is there. So for that reason, you should be able, if the goals prevent a, a crooked or a bad press uh, president from running again, then you have to impeach him, even though he, he served a, he's a, served a full two terms. Uh, he could still be impeached. That's my opinion. And so the argument to be to the Supreme Court would be that Trump is right. You would have to, because you, you can still impeach him. You can, so he has to be impeached, and he has to be convicted of a of a, a high crime or misdemeanor by the Senate. And um, that's my thought for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for stopping by. You can subscribe. That would really be great. Share this video with uh, anyone you think would benefit from it. Uh, oh, the comments, if you want to comment, as I said, they're below the, the video. There's a comment section. You, you all know that. Um, but most of all, come back and see me again. I would love to see all of you again. And until I do see all of you again, 